Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about data types in Azure Data Explorer Kusto and how to create our table and ingest some data and write some select query. So this is going to be your basics for your other tutorial. So it's a great idea to spend some time, learn about different data types, how to write the insert the data and then move forward. So here are the list of the data types available. So the very first is a Boolean and Boolean can accept true false values. And then you have date time. There, there you will have a date time that you can provide. And then you have dynamic. If you would like to put an array, that that's where this is very helpful. And you have a good. So you want to create that unique ID. That's a you can use the good there. And then you have integer. You have long for a big int. You know you have real for decimals and all those numbers. And then you have string. Uh, just uh, you want to have uh, n var car like a var car and var car type of values so any anything that uh, comes in the string then you have time span you know if you are dealing with the times uh, you can put it there and then finally you have a decimal so these are the equivalent of the dot net type so so you can uh, get some good idea from there as well okay so let's go and take a look first of all uh, i'm going to connect to my portal.azure.com here and here is my azure data explorer cluster i'm going to click right there and uh, then uh, we will be selecting one of the database in which uh, we will be creating a table so go to the databases right here and then uh, you have two databases one is called tech browser db another is the tbdb so uh, click on tech browser db and here we will be selecting a query once so it to open this uh, query uh, window, I'm going to open in the new web UI so we can see the things better and it helps us uh, to, you know, uh, kind of I have more clear picture instead of having all those other tabs around. Okay, so we are here and uh, now what we can do here, we can uh, uh, go right there and uh, this is our pretty name we did the last uh, time. Now what we can do, we can uh, right here, there are certain things we can do. We can create new table and all that, but I'm not really interested to, uh, to do these kind of things from here. We are going to create a, a new query. Okay. So what I will do, I will just delete this uh, old uh, query and data and just paste it there. So I have uh, this definition of how you're going to create the table and how you're going to select the data and everything. So first of all, you will be starting. These are called com uh, control commands. So you will be saying dot create and uh, in uh, such as other commands, we have dot show, dot ingest and all that. Here is, is the dot create. Then we have to specify the name um, object type such as table and then uh, actual table name. So in my case, uh, what I have selected here, uh, the name of the table is a person, okay? Now you will have these uh, small parentheses there and uh, after that, what you are gonna do there, you are going to have a columns. And uh, I just uh, went on another line here. So you can uh, have in the same line, but I went on the next line and I have first column name called is male. That's uh, telling like if the, what is the gender of this, uh, um, um, a person so you can have gender you I, I put is male true or false okay and then uh, you have to put colons uh, here after each of the column name so you have colon and then you will provide a data type of it and after that you will put a comma and I just put the definition here so when I provide you this uh, code it will help you to remember that what exactly this is a uh, use for so this is a boolean and uh, it can uh, accept uh, true and false values okay then I have date of birth and uh, uh, that's my second column then I have colon and then a data type date time and we will put some date time for that then I have hobbies and a person can have multiple hobbies so it's an array or object type where it will have more than one values so we are going to insert those then you have a UPID so uh, it's a, a unique uh, ID for a person and I have put the good right there okay now you have salary, phone number, height, full name, weight, and all these data types. You are very familiar with these ones, uh, such as uh, integer. Uh, salary can go as in string as well, but I put just uh, an uh, integer. Phone number could go as a string, but I just put uh, for a long. You know, it's a big, uh, you know, in, in other way. Real, uh, that's the height. Uh, so if somebody is 5.11, uh, 5 feet 11 inches, uh, so you want to put some of uh, that, you can have that. Okay, so you uh, put all that information there and now 
what we are going to do we are going to select this and if you notice that i have already i have put these double slashes here and these are the comments uh, so these are uh, not going to be part of the really create table they are just there for comment it's not going to be do anything to our table definition as of now we do not have any table in the demo uh, that's our pretty name but actual name of the database is a tech brothers uh, db so let's go ahead and uh, run once you run it it's going to show you this uh, one line and then it show you all the details so you click right there table name schema and then it shows you the name uh, person these are order columns such as uh, so it will show you all those uh, details uh, okay now that's good and uh, now our table is uh, created you can right see right there table is created and uh, this has all the columns of uh, what we have specified right here and uh, then in front of that you can see the data type of them uh, now how you insert the data into the table there are multiple ways, but here we are doing uh, um, inline. What does that mean? We are not inserting from some file or some uh, from uh, other external tables or anything like that. We are simply hard uh, coding or uh, we are uh, directly inserting the data. To insert the data into any table here, this is how you are going to do it. You are going to say dot ingest inline into table. So this is a, uh, going to be always there and then you are going to provide the table name after the table name what you will do you will provide a less than sign and then you will provide a pipe sign so this is what you will provide and then after that you will specify the values for your column here is the uh, see is, is male so we said true yes and then i have a date of birth for that person this is going to be more than one hobby and it is array type so i have put double quotes around here then have curly parentheses inside the curly parentheses i have the keys and values so you can see hobby one is programming hobby two is hiking so this is how you will insert or put the values there now you have good value so you are now going to go ahead and provide the good and then in the salary for four thousand is there and then i have this is a phone number this is a wrong phone number don't try to call this is not my phone number <laughs> just in case uh, you will try to call this number then there is a height of 511 and uh, then uh, you have a uh, name Amir Shahzad and then uh, at the end uh, you have my weight 170 that's also not correct <laughs> okay so but that's not important at all anyways so you go for the next one and uh, here you have a uh, zero instead of putting false i put zero here you can use zero or one while you are inserting the value in the boolean type then you have date of birth and uh, lisa's hobbies were programming and hobby two is hiking you can change it uh, maybe yeah, i don't know what else uh, she like uh, psych you know whatever okay so you put there then you have her salary three thousand and then uh, you have uh, that's our phone number that's also not correct phone number just in case and uh, as uh, then her height of 410 is very short so i'm going to make it to 510 and then you have uh, her name is lisa robert and her weight is 140 okay sounds great now we have two records and we have to insert them so i'm going to scroll on this side so you can see i'm going to select this part and execute now this is executed and the record should be inserted how to check the data in this table okay so what we do in the if you remember in sql we always select star from person name select star from table name here you don't have to say select asterisk or all that you will simply put the table name and then run once you do that you're going to see the data right there so see right there that's a uh we have a uh, mr amir and he is a uh, male that's true and here is uh, the information we have uh, inserted for him uh, so this is how you will uh, create a table and then uh, you will insert the data and then you will check uh, then in next videos what we are going to do what uh, we will uh, uh, go through a lot of other type of uh, uh, queries where we will use where clauses where we will use uh, uh, group buys and all that uh, on this type of data and uh, take a look uh, so in this case uh, i'm going to have this uh, all the code uh, in the description so you can use it also i will put the link for microsoft uh, uh, website where i uh, took the snapshot for the uh, data types so, so this one so you can read through if you need it thank you very much for watching please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video